Hello everyone, my name is Spirit, and today I'm going to be talking about Bo, Path of the Teal Lotus, and it's Kickstarter. Have you ever wanted to play a video game where the main character has a shape-shifting ability that allows you to do cool moves? And whenever you're not using that shape-shifting ability, it turns into an earring? Bo, Path of the Teal Lotus is a game where Bo, the main character, wears a kutsuni mask and a cloak that resembles a lotus. The blue lotus in Buddhism is the symbol of victory of the spirits over their senses, of intelligence and wisdom of knowledge. It is generally represented as a partially open bud whose center is unseen, the embodiment of the perfection of wisdom. If you are heavily into Metroidvania games like Super Metroid and Hollow Knight, Bo Path of the Teal Lotus takes inspiration from those games and perfects it. And having played the demo for myself, I could tell you that you're all going to be in for a treat. That's why we need you to share the word about Bo Path of the Teal Lotus and support its Kickstarter, which is happening on February 1st, 2022. Now, when it comes to promoting stuff online, I'm like Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails, giving The Cure the Hall of Fame award back in 2019. Those guys truly deserve that award. Still, we all know that Trent Reznor doesn't like doing award shows. To be honest, there's really not a lot of things online that gets me hyped up. People just want that recognition without putting in that work. If you're a developer that wants recognition first and doesn't put the effort into your game, I will never support you. But Chris, the developer of Bo, Path of the Teal Lotus is a different story, a good story at that. I was given the opportunity to interview Chris and talk about his game, which there's a full length interview video which you can click on the notification card above to see the whole thing. From this interview, I've learned so much about Chris himself, the amount of effort that went into this game, the struggles, the concerns. Chris is so ready, willing, and able to listen to his fans. I kind of understood from what he has told me that this game is going to be everything, his heart, his soul, years of hard work. That's why I've come on here to support the game and tell you about the Kickstarter, which as of right now has close to a thousand people ready to back the game. On Steam, there's about a thousand plus players who have wishlisted the game, so there is support, there is definitely support for the game. But it's always great to have more people know about the game, and once the demo's out, I hope you all try it out for yourselves to enjoy. The more people that know about it, the better. If I could briefly describe the game to you in my opinion, Bo Path of the Teal Lotus is a game that has Okami aesthetics, but the gameplay is going to be Hollow Knight and Super Metroid inspired. There will be many paths, collectibles, unique enemies and characters. The main character Bo by itself is a marvel to look at. The fact that the main character wears a Kutsumi mask and has an earring that turns into a shape shifting staff is remarkable. You can also do like this pogo stick ability that allows you to bounce off of enemies and platforms, which reminds me a lot of DuckTales for NES. This game has a lot going for it, and it's going to be available on Steam and Nintendo Switch. Now, in order to get Bo Path of the Teal Lotus on other consoles, that's where the Kickstarter is going to come in. The developer is going to need all the support possible from backers. So more money, less problems? I hope you all support the game and try out the demo real soon once it's available publicly. My name is Spirit, and I thank you so much for watching today's video. Go and support Bo Path of the Teal Lotus today, and take care.